Hey guys, Chris here. In regards to LiveX Livestock, ever since they reached their all-time highs of $6.63, they have dropped down around 30%, currently trading around $4.50. But in this video, I basically want to give you guys three major catalysts to why this recent sell-off or this recent pump and dump is just a little bump in the road for LiveX stock, okay? Now, I'm a strong believer in LiveX Live long-term. When I do invest into stocks, I invest into the company because sometimes the stock doesn't portray what the company is actually doing. In my opinion, what LiveX Live, the company is doing right now is going to be very profitable and bring in a lot of revenue longer term. The stock right now is not really reflecting what LiveX Live, the company, is actually doing. So I want to give you guys three major catalysts. As always, I'll try to give you guys the most up-to-date information I possibly can. If this is something you like and you do enjoy it, please remember to give me a big thumbs up. It does help me out. LiveX Live stock ticker symbol LIVX right now after hours is trading at $4.15. This has been the recent sell-off, reaching $6.63, and then dipping down quite a bit, okay? In the past six months, LiveX Live started around $2, okay? So they basically doubled a lot of investors' money, okay? And I said in my last video, if you guys bought around $6 or $5, I'm very sorry that, you know, that the market actually corrected itself on you. It's just sometimes stocks are like that, okay? They have a beta 1.72, meaning it's very volatile. They have a one-year target estimate from analysts that it will reach around $7.58. So you, there is still a lot of upside if it does you know, gain around $3, all right? So there is still a lot of upside and a lot of analysts are very bullish on this company. They have an average volume of 1.9 million, okay? Like I was saying, they have a 52-week high of $6.95, okay? Right off the bat, I just want to talk about one of the first major catalysts, okay? Now, LiveX Live is not just a music platform company. Now, they are, in a way, transitioning themselves to NFTs. And the last festival, they transitioned that festival into an NFT and sold that NFT within minutes, basically generating them millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue or in gross profits, okay? Now, LiveX Live is not only going to do NFTs for festivals, okay? The, here's where the second catalyst comes in. They are going to be performing a major boxing match where it's going to be YouTubers versus TikTokers. LiveX Live and Hard Rock International and Seminole Hard Rock strike multi-year strategic partnership to host and sponsor LiveX Live events, kicking off with Social Gloves Battle of the Platform franchise. Okay, if we all know, LiveX Live and Hard Rock is, you know, in Miami. Okay, the Hard Rock Stadium is in Miami. Okay, so this boxing match, YouTubers versus TikTokers, you're going to have all these famous social media influencers basically battling out. Okay, and it's going to bring in a lot of attention, especially if they have a huge following. Their followings are going to be tuned in or even buy pay-per-view tickets to watch it or, you know, buy some tickets, live stream it, something. Okay, their followers are going to follow them. It's a battle of the platforms. Okay, so now... They sold their first festival and made an NFT off of that. Don't you think that this NFT, if they do perform this and change it to an NFT, you don't think that this will sell for even more millions of dollars? And again, generating LiveX Live even more profit longer term? It's going to be very big for LiveX Live. And this specific boxing match is going to be very monumental for LiveX Live. The boxing match is going to happen on Saturday, June 12th at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens, okay? So we all know that I am a Miami boy and I'm really big on LiveX Live, okay? I've say, I say this in all my videos and I just think that the, the actual company and what they're actually doing is going to be very profitable long-term. Right now, they are not a profitable company, but they have been improving you know, quarter to quarter, year over year. Their subscription base has been increasing and everything about them has been very bullish to me. And a lot of YouTubers now are talking about LiveX Live, even though I was talking about this company you know, about a year ago, okay? This was probably one of the first stocks I bought and have it in my portfolio. And I've been buying up shares, buying up shares, averaging up, averaging up, or averaging down, whatever the case may be, but I'm continuously always buying this stock. Okay? I did suspect around when it was around $6, it was kind of overvalued, and I did sell off, took some of the profits, and you know, it is what it is sometimes, okay? Sometimes you we don't time the market, we just try to beat the market, okay? Now, the third catalyst is that LiveX Live has increased their guidance for the fiscal year of 2022. 
Okay, they've increased the revenues guidance from 100 million to 110 million with adjusted operating income of 1.5 million to 3 million as its operational metrics continue to strengthen and refines guidance for fiscal year 2021 revenue of 64.5 million to 65.5 million. So if the CEO and the company is actually raising their expectations and raising their guidance right now, what they're doing is beating the metrics from last year okay and like i was saying the subscription growth right now they have over 1.07 million paid subscribers okay and they're going to continue to gain more and more subscribers especially when that boxing match actually happens the millions or thousands of people that are going to start to subscribe into live x live is going to be very very monumental it's going to be a very big stepping stone for live x live i say this in all my videos i do believe live x live will overtake spotify when it comes to market cap long term okay so now when it comes to livex livestock whether you guys are a believer in livex livestock or not that's an argument that i would like to see and the type of comments you guys have in the comment section so let me know in the comment section that whether you guys believe in livex livestock or you guys just completely want to ignore this company whatsoever okay but you cannot argue that right now what they're doing in the type of attraction and with the type of platform with the type of money that they have that this company is not setting setting themselves up to live a long lasting life in the company okay like i was saying in the beginning of the video sometimes the company doesn't reflect what the stock price is okay i do think right now a four dollars is a pretty good pricing point a pretty good you know average point okay and i'm going to continue to buy whenever it goes down four dollars i hope hopefully it goes down to two dollars because it is very volatile you know it went up from six dollars all the way to four dollars it, there's a lot of volatility into the stock okay it was a penny stock it was not a penny stock came back into being a penny stock so there's a lot of fluctuations out here but when it comes to being the best nft stock is livex live it who knows there's a lot of nft stocks out there but livex live is in my opinion the best music platform company that it has sprinkled of nft and the actual growth potential of the company in my opinion livex live is it Okay, I say this on my videos, LiveX Live has a high ceiling, in my opinion, has huge amounts of potential long term. I guess so that's basically a quick update video on LiveX Live stock. Let me know down in the comment section, again, whether you guys like the company, whether you guys don't like the company, too volatile for you, what type of price points did you jump in or get out of? That's a conversation I'd like to have. We had a lot of conversations about that in my previous LiveX Live video, so let's just keep the ball rolling. All right, guys, please remember to give me a big thumbs up, and it does help me beat the YouTube algorithm and just pushes the video out to more and more people that, you know, may need it. All right, guys, so thank you all for watching. Salutes to you all. Have a great day or a great night, and peace out. See you next time.